Our dear Heavenly Father, O Lord, we are thankful for many things, and we know that we must go through months very short and are in it in which we must suffer a certain measure of that which January brings. We also are glad, Heavenly Father, for the measure of, of confidence that we enjoy in having a city council which takes care of the necessary affairs of our city, that all things may continue and the uh, the cost of running a city assessed and placed the Lord on the ballot and the necessary expenses are paid and the, our affairs which we enjoy which keep our city moving we are, have cause to be thankful for. We know that they will come, they will keep the, the streets clear. And if a telephone, pardon me, a pole should break down and there is damage with the wires, that it will, as soon as possible, be pre repaired up and working again. And the many comforts which we experience are provided for us and all things are done with an eye to the necessary economy which allows us to continue. So for all these things we, we turn at this time unto those who have been elected and chosen to take care of the, these many necessities and for those whose labors we rely on from the city. And this we ask that it may continue in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are there any additions to the agenda? Consent agenda. Approved minutes for regular meeting of 12-16-2014. Approved minutes for special meeting of 12-30-2014. Approved appropriation ordinance 0102-2015 in the amount of 84-29-75. Approved appropriation ordinance 12-31-2014 in the amount of $12,578.27. And approve appropriation ordinance 0106 2015 in the amount of $29,320.77. So move. Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 4 0. No? I really don't have anything for council in the Chief Sanders? I don't have anything. Chief Sanders? Uh, the only thing I have is to give you guys an update uh, as far as hiring the Ford officer. We are going to do um, interviews Monday, January 19th. So, um, at a minimum, if I could have uh, one council member there, I'd like to have two, if, uh, if you guys are able and free, uh, to be a part of the interview panel. Uh, at this time, we're going to be just interviewing two. 
Um, the first one will be at 1.15, and then the second one will be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Just a couple of things um, added to your packet this evening is an email from Larry Bear out of um, from the, the league regarding um, you had asked about random drug testing, and this ex explains what um, his recommendations would be, which is not to do random, but if you have. There's some instances there. If you have concerns about a particular individual, then you can um, request that in a certain way. So. Do we test as, as a routinely as part of our hiring process? Except, I think the police department mm -hmm. does, but n we don't. What about the things. fire department? Everybody that has a CDL gets drug tested. So, I mean, is it, what is the reason he says for not doing right? There's a <laughs> So it means like a case law issue? Or? I know. There's an attorney general's opinion. Okay. It's up there in that first line. Okay. Any questions on that? Anything else? Okay. That really surprises me. I know. But I, when I put it out on a listserv, I had just a couple of other clerks. Um, indicate that they thought that we couldn't do it. They couldn't remember why, but we couldn't, so I just requested the league to jump in and um, help us out on that. Also, um, John finished up any changes on the land bank policy that's included. Also has the application on the back side of it. really no action to be taken. I just wanted to give you the updated policy and check it over and make sure we've got all the changes in <coughs> that you had. This probably needs to be changed. No one number seven. Section one. Under land bank city so you can go again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Page again. Last seven. Seven. Yeah. yeah, next to last. One. Yeah, next to the last one, number seven. Oh, on the application? Yes, on the application. Okay. That's it. That's easy to change. Yeah, I can do that here. <laughs> we don't need to pay John to do it. <laughs> Good catch. And other than that, we're starting together our information for the auditors as we close things out. We're working on the new meter books and everything is kind of transitioning. You can see that we've got the new cupboards in and yesterday at this time you could not believe that we were actually going to have a meeting in this room. So <laughs> thanks to Mel and to the guys, they helped get things moved out and moved around. So. Unless you guys have something. John, did you have anything for us? As far as just general? Um, new business, cost of living allowance. Um, the packet that was handed to you right at the beginning of the meeting is what's been done over the past seven years. Um, the minutes are attached from those different actions. Um, I believe Mr. Bryant had requested this information. Yes. So, and in the um, packet that you received, there was some information with regards to the health insurance and how those costs have changed with the new plan. Mm -hmm. <coughs> You're saving about $2,500 a month from the employer cost standpoint.
probably too late to change that, but she made the motion. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, nobody was on that one, were they? Yeah. <clears throat> Is there any discussion on doing a cost of living allowance for staff this year? What do we uh, And you're saying you bought these minutes because this is the last time we voted on it? Or? No, those are no, the I minutes just... that um, show these. Oh, yeah, I lost it. Like these pictures on the front? Yeah. yeah this one. I just wanted to see the information that we've done for the past. Uh, I didn't get one. That was in. It should have been in your. Yeah. That was in your packet. Oh, to take over. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted the information from the past few years on mm -hmm. what we've done historically. So. Yeah, okay. Let me see your second there. Yes. <clears throat> what does the uh, budget look like this year for? I usually budget five percent. Five percent. Just so that we know that we have it. Mm -hmm. Gives us a little cushion mm -hmm. if we should hire somebody else or something as well. Okay. So we haven't done anything, we didn't do anything in 2012 and 2014. 2013 was the last time that we gave something which was 2.5%. Uh, Now this is now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is all for the hourly employees, not salary. Mm -hmm. no, it would be everybody. everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Then. What's wrong there? All right. Um, it's all full-time employees. Okay. okay. As far as our um, seasonal and so forth, we usually look at that at the time. Okay. What do the rest of you think about doing something for the employees? Uh, this year? Oh, I think that when you give a percent, it gets the, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot, everybody else will argue it the other way, but I say everybody, <clears throat> I, I think we can give a raise or something, mm -hmm. but what's fair, not fair, When we give a cost of living raise, um, it's kind of a little tricky on that. Okay. So are you suggesting that instead of a percentage, you give just a flat amount per hour? Yeah. <clears throat> Did you have an amount in mind? Oh, I would entertain a motion of 50 cents an hour. It's been moved that we give staff a 50 cent an hour cost of living increase is our second second is there any additional discussion speak up yeah is 50 cents an hour is all these people hourly based or is there some people with salary mm -hmm. there's well, all across their salary she's left to back figure it too Per salary. Basically everything, the way our payroll runs is everything's into, is converted into salary. You know, our hourly work so many hours a week, but when you talk about salaried people that aren't on the time clock, it would be Mel, myself, and Jeff, I believe, and Adam are um, when you're in a supervisory position of at least two people then you are on a salary basis instead of an hourly basis. So But you could back into the hourly Oh absolutely, and yeah. That's what how we to. Yeah. What is three percent compared to a quarter? I wouldn't know how to Right. I'd have to go in and look at everybody's and it's gonna that's gonna change from 
the lowest paid person to I the mean, highest right. per paid mm -hmm. person, so that percentage is not going to be across the board. Mm -hmm. I will say that, you know, with our people first coming on, you know, we get the six-month review, so they have an opportunity for a decent raise there, and then on their merit raises, because they're on the lower part of their pay scale, they get quite a bit better um, increases on their merits mm -hmm. if they qualify for that. Um, for those with longevity, it's quite a bit less. Mm -hmm. But, you know, across the board, it would be hard to say 3% or 5% or 50 cents. You know, it's going to vary in their per employee of what that percentage is. Okay, well on a $10 an hour employee, 3% raise is 3 cents an hour. So on a $20 an hour employee, a 3% raise would be 6 cents an hour, I think. I have to double check my mouth on that. I think that's probably very clear. The top end employee, high end guy, will get over a thousand dollar raise, and the low end will <coughs> get less concern. I'm not We've, sure there would be anybody that would get a thousand dollars. Oh, I'm not against maybe giving a raise. I don't know where the fifty cents is. That seems like a quite a bit to me. 2,080 working hours in a year, 50 cents an hour would be $1,040 per employee. Per employee? Yep. How many employees have we got? Eight or ten? Fourteen. Fourteen? That's $14,000. At the moment, we have fourteen. I think we have thirteen. We've got to count in the extra police officer. I think the other thing about pension is more than one. Sound like a lot when you say it that way. <coughs> no, well, when you did go bigger, yeah. a bit of yeah, you say 50 cents, it doesn't sound like much. Mm -hmm. You say $14,000. Right, when you bring it down. Break right. it down. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we, we saved, what, $2,500 on that insurance? That's a month. month. That's a month. So it would be 20000 over 20000 do the math in my head and that's not working out. It'd be twenty five thousand and then another five, so it'd be thirty thousand dollar savings on the health insurance. I guess I'd be I'd be in favor of the court opinion. That ain't you know, I don't know that I'd be in favor of fifty cents a month. Okay, we have a motion on the table for fifty cents an hour. It's been motioned and seconded. So we need to finish with that motion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? It's a tie vote, so you get to vote. <laughs> it's no pressure. <laughs> um, nay. It's not sure sure yeah. Sherry Bob. I didn't pay them. Motion to give them 25 cents. I second it.